Hi, I'm Brian Petrie. Have you noticed there's never enough bandwidth? The word broadband refers to high-speed internet access. The amount of information you can move to and from the internet at any given point in time is measured in terms of bandwidth. The United States currently ranks far behind other countries in both bandwidth adoption rate and available bandwidth. You may be surprised to hear that countries like Latvia, Bulgaria, Romania, and Lithuania are ahead of us in those rankings. The average download speed in South Korea is several times faster than it is in the United States, yet we are the largest consumer of bandwidth in the world. Today, we're seeing the rapid growth of bandwidth intensive applications such as video, Skype conferencing, and other multimedia and collaboration applications. That growth is placing significantly increasing demands on internet infrastructure. Another important trend to note is the steadily increasing demand on cellular networks being driven by the rapid adoption of smartphones and other mobile devices like the iPad. According to Cisco, traffic on the world's networks will increase 46% annually, doubling every couple of years. Recently, during Apple's introduction of the new iPhone 4, Steve Jobs had to ask his audience to log off the network to free up bandwidth for his product demonstration. This unprecedented bandwidth consumption by consumers and enterprises will force communication service providers to deliver increasingly powerful solutions in the coming years. Unfortunately, some of those providers are struggling to keep up. Both the iPhone and the iPad are currently limited to AT&T's network, and AT&T has significant problems delivering satisfactory levels of services in densely populated markets like New York City and San Francisco. AT&T is working as rapidly as possible to complete the upgrade to its network to 3G. And other service providers, such as Sprint, already have begun building their 4G capabilities. What do 3G and 4G mean? Simply put, these terms represent third generation and fourth generation of cellular networks. Each generation is faster and more robust than the previous. The typical solution to the bandwidth problem is to upgrade the infrastructure installing faster lines and better performing systems and facilities. However, these modifications are costly to implement and they may only provide a short-term fix. As demand continues to grow, shrinking overall available bandwidth, performance again will decline, necessitating further upgrades. In an effort to make internet access faster for everyone, Google recently launched a project designed to bring ultra high speed broadband networks into homes and businesses. By starting in a few trial locations and learning from the experience, they hope to come up with a solution that can be deployed throughout the United States. Other companies like Akamai Technologies and Limelight Networks and Level 3 Communications are taking a different approach to the bandwidth problem. They're focusing on optimizing the use of existing infrastructure by providing services for accelerating and improving the delivery of content through proprietary software and infrastructure enhancements. These companies will do well regardless of how successful the internet service providers are in upgrading their networks. Because, as we know, there's never enough bandwidth. 